Welcome everybody to another edition of the Cover 2 Podcast. I am Nick Nienad and I will be by myself today for this version of the Cover 2 Podcast. Uh, unfortunately, Jared and I couldn't do our usual uh, or, or our annual uh, NFL preview and prediction show that we usually broadcast for like two and a half hours. We're too busy getting ready for our respective um, big time events that we're going to be attending this week. Uh, that involve NFL teams and what I mean by that is that Jared Smith will be at Rams and Bills in Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium yes ladies and gentlemen Jared Smith will be attending the first NFL game of the season I will then be traveling Sunday to the great state of Arizona to go watch my Arizona Cardinals take on the Kansas City Chiefs live and in person plenty of videos plenty of content live content. I may go after Jackson Holmes. I may go after Juju Smith-Schuster, and I may even go after Kyler Murray, okay? On this show, okay, I'm going to go over every single division in the NFL. But I'm going to do it in like five or less minutes, okay? I'm not going to bore you with the, with your time. So, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, guys. It's football. It's football, okay? Football's back. I'm excited. Now let's move to the AFC North, okay? There's really one team here that I think is solidly locked into the playoffs, and I think that's the Cincinnati Bengals. For reasons that are pretty obvious. They made the Super Bowl last year. They won the division last year. They have one of the better young quarterbacks in the NFL in Joe Burrow. And their one problem that really lost them the Super Bowl was their offensive line, and they improved it. So why wouldn't they make the playoffs? Do I think they make the Super Bowl again? I think that's really hard. Okay, I already didn't put the Rams in the Super Bowl, so I'm not going to put Cincinnati. I do think this is a top five AFC team, but Super Bowl is going to be hard. But nonetheless, they win the AFC uh, North. I think then there's two teams that you have to look at. They're going to be in the bubble of the playoffs and specifically for the AFC North. I think they're going to be battling for second and third. And by looking at how I've been looking at this entire preview, you got to look at the quarterbacks. And there's a clear number two that should emerge here. Okay, Lamar Jackson is much better than Mitchell Trubisky, okay? Now, the thing with the Ravens, though, is they lost a lot of offensive talent. It kind of reminds me of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, but it's a lot different scenario because Lamar Jackson is a run-first um, quarterback. It's a run-first offense, a very run-heavy offense. So losing your primary wide receivers is not the worst thing, but still, the offensive roster got worse. The defensive roster got better. There's little question marks with Lamar Jackson even wanting to stay with the Ravens. And there's there's tough talks with the contract extension. So I think that this team obviously is going to be below the Bengals. I still do believe, though, they'll end up higher than the Pittsburgh Steelers. Do I think they'll make the playoffs? Pretty unsure. Okay, and remember, the AFC West will take at least three spots. Okay, they'll take a top four spot and they'll take the fifth sixth or seventh spot and maybe all three so again really tough for you to make the playoffs this year if you don't win your division and i don't think the ravens or the steelers have a chance to win their division unless joe burrow gets hurt okay now let's talk about the steelers i really thought and still think the steelers can make the playoffs and really compete with the Bengals, but they picked mitchell trubisky to be their starting quarterback and you know what this this means to me it means that they're going with the safe pick Okay, I think the unsafe pick in Kenny Pickett, their rookie they drafted in the first round, they traded up to get, um, I think that that guy should be starting. Okay, you have a great defense. The Steelers, are, Steelers have always had a great defense. You have offensive weapons in Deontay Johnson and Chase Claypool and George Pickens and Najee Harris and a pretty good offensive line. And then you go with a guy that has proven he can't take a talented roster anywhere, okay? He can't make simple throws. So what, the, what, this, what, what I think is going to happen here is the Steelers know they have an easier schedule to start the season. And I think they're going to try to bring Kenny Pickett along and practice and they'll let Mitchell Trubisky win, win some games. He'll lose some games. He'll lose a big game. And then they'll go, okay, let's bring Kenny Pickett in now and let's see what he can do, Okay. But I think they'll lose enough games with the Mitchell Trubisky trial that I think this team will have a tough time winning the division. 
Can they leapfrog frog the Ravens? Absolutely, because of their defense and just because Lamar's had some injury problems. Um, but I do think this team is a clear second or third in the NFC North and will have a tough time making the playoffs. And then the Browns, honestly, fuck that organization. Um, they've been in the shitter the last 20 years. They finally do some good things, and then they go pick up Deshaun Watson, who's the number one essayer in the world right now, okay? And they have Jacoby Brissett playing quarterback. I don't think that he'll do enough to recover this team enough for when uh, Watson potentially returns. I honestly seeing, I honestly see the bad karma with this team in signing and extending uh, Sean Watson, hurting their entire season, hurting their organization, and just generally hurting this team. I don't think they'll be a playoff team. I don't think they'll get close. And I honestly don't think we'll just see Deshaun Watson play this season, even though he's eligible to come back against the Texans. Maybe that's the one game he plays, but honestly, I don't see it. And I think this team will be absolutely be in last place. And I hope you guys are all rooting against the Browns. And even if you leave in Cleveland, you should be rooting against the Cleveland Browns.